What's up guys, me here, the Riders, back with some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we took on Sabrina, the sixth gym leader and psychic type user. In today's episode, we're going to be making our way to the next gym. Not taking them on today, because there's other stuff we need to do, but we'll be doing that in the next episode. And there's a possibility we might be evolving one of my Pokemon today. But, first off, I would like to talk about what happened in between the episodes. So, in between this episode and the last one, I went back to the, uh, what's it called, Safari Zone. And I went and got a couple of items that I missed. Now, I may as well explain what they are. S some of them are, wouldn't be too interesting. I got like a Max Potion, and other, a uh, couple other things. I can't remember what they were, but they were not very important. But I also got an item called the Quick Claw. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Quick, quick Claw does, it uh, gives the holding Pokemon a 30% chance of attacking first, even if that Pokemon is slower than the opponent's. So it basically means that you could have the world's slowest Pokemon, but if they have the Quick Claw, they'd have a 30% chance of attacking first anyway, because that's what the Click Claw, quick, click claw, quick claw does, okay? So, uh, might be quite useful, but none of my Pokemon are really slow, so it's not very useful for any of them. Okay, but, um, the main item I went to get was a TM. Now, that TM was called Sunny Day, right here, right? Which, uh, it, uh, improves the power of Fire-type moves for five turns. Now, you may be thinking, I'm probably going to give that to a Charlie, right? No, I'm not. I'm actually, when I want to, going to teach it to Whitley. Why Whitley? Because his ability makes him speed up in sunshine. So Sunny Day is useful for him, meaning he'll be quicker, but it'll also mean he'll be weaker to fire-type attacks, because they'll be improved. But I will not be using Whitley against any Pokemon that has fire-type moves, of course, for obvious reasons. But there's also another move I can get Whitley that's coming up soon that I can teach him that will be improved by Sunny Day. Meaning that it'll, uh, it's usually a two turn attack move that will attack on the second turn, but Sunny Day makes it attack on the first turn. And it only lasts one turn, so yeah, you'll maybe, I think, I imagine most of you have guessed what it is, but I'll save it up for the people who don't know. Those of you who have guessed, well done, you do know a lot about Pokemon. But, <laughs> so that's all that. But, that's all the new items. Now there's a couple of new Pokemon I actually managed to catch while I was, uh, while I was in the Safari Zone. Now, I may as well show you these. Okay, so, um, uh, well, you know, remember the seven Pokemon we had before, right? Well, we got another six added to the box. Okay, so there's two Executes here. Okay, there's Eggby here, who I actually just decided, you know, may as well catch it. This one, total accident. I was trying to escape, accidentally clicked through ball, it caught it on the first ball, which I was kind of proud of. And the same happened with Spikes. Tried to escape, didn't really want to catch it, caught it in the first ball by accident. And then Cruiser was exactly the same. This is this is the one I'm most proud of. I actually wanted to catch this one because it's really rare, especially in the area I caught it. And I caught it in one ball. And I'm not lying, I genuinely caught this one in one ball. I didn't throw a rock, I didn't throw bait, I just threw a ball by accident, caught it straight away. I mean, why couldn't friggin' Snorlax be that quick? I mean, come on! But the other two are just a Nidorina called Nida, and a Nidorino called, um, Nidor. Sorry, I, was, I got lost for a second. Yeah, I just managed to catch these six. Not really anything important or impressive, but I felt like, at least show this one. And I'm at least letting you know that I did go and catch some of the Pokemon, even if some of them were by accident. But this one I'm most proud of because it's a rare Pokemon. It's not easy to catch yet. Caught it in the first ball. And the balls, the Pokeballs that you're given at the Safari Zone aren't even that strong. They're only like great balls. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna quit that. And now we're gonna continue on with today's episode. Now there's an item I want to get in town that I didn't get before. I forgot it was here. But yeah, remember I said about the um super rod being before the good rod? Well, this place here, you'll find out what I'm talking about. I'm the fishing guru Zelda brother! I simply love fishing! I can't bear to live without it. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends! Take this and fish, young friend. You received a good rod from the fishing, rod's, fishing guru's brother. You put the good rod in the key out of his pocket. Fishing is a way of life! It is like the finest poetry! A crummy old rod can only catch magic up, yes. But the good rod, you can catch much better Pokemon! So, yes, that's the case. So now we can catch different Pokemon. Uh, I'm not going to worry about talking about the Pokemon yet. But I may as well get into where I was going to go, which is all the way down here. Le -le -le. 
It's annoying how long it takes to get to this one friggin' area. It's like like something from an online game, I don't know. But, okay, so, we're gonna be going down this route today, and now I would just like to say a quick message about my channel. Henceforth, from this episode onwards, I will not be using any copyrighted music that I am aware is copyrighted, okay? So that means no modern day songs, no Rocky songs or anything like that, no Alt-J, which really disappoints me, no songs that have copyright on. I will be using songs from games or songs from like Machinima Sound, ones that I have copyright rights to, ones that won't get my videos um, unmonetized, won't cause problems for that because because there's a new group that I'm going to be joining soon that my friend It's Luckful pointed out to me, I'm hoping to sign up with them, and if that's the case, I can't use anything that's obviously copyrighted. I can still do the walkthroughs of the games, because that's perfectly fine. I can still use songs from games, so long as they're not copyrighted songs. That's perfectly fine. I can't use songs with copyright on them, so that's basically modern day songs, you know, the ones you hear on the radio. Not video game. I can use video game songs, they're perfectly fine. And, uh... The problem with this is, I don't know that many songs from video games. I don't know that many video games with songs that would work, at least for this game. Maybe songs that would work for other games, but Pokemon is the one that would require songs, not Oblivion. So, yeah, you might be hearing the same song used twice in certain episodes, and I just want to make it clear, that's not me being lazy, that's the fact I don't know any other songs to use, and I only have a limited amount I can use, but I will be doing my best to use different songs, okay? So, uh, I might as well continue on with the episode. I'm also going to say that most of this episode is going to be sped up with music, because this entire route, it would just be too long, and I don't, I'm rather tired today. I'm not really in the mood to do a huge amount of commentary, so it will be sped up for you guys. It will still be interesting, but I will be doing commentary when I feel there needs to be commentary, okay? But for the battling and for the travelling, not going to be any commentary, okay? Just going to let you guys know. But on that note, let's cue the music then! move I said I was waiting for all this time, Razor Leaf. Sounds a little bit outdated now that I said there's another move I'm going to be teaching, and actually I totally forgot about that move, I'll be honest. But, yeah, of course. Vine Whip, it's really outdated now in comparison to Razor Leaf. I mean, look, Razor Leaf is like five times better than Vine Whip. So, yeah, we're going to get rid of Vine Whip, because it's it's so outdated now. I mean, Vine Whip, they, they, they kept him with Vine Whip way too long. I would have been really happy for Razorleaf to have been a much earlier move. But also... Oh, uh, we're, we're still in the battle. Um... <laughs> I'll, 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 just, I'll just finish off the battle quick. <laughs> I forgot there was one last Pokemon there. So, yeah, may as well. 
Uh, razor Leaf, let's use a move. And he snapped out of confusion, that's good. And Goldeen is defeated. Whitley's level 42. Learn a move move. Guess what's happening now? You'll never guess. Evolution time! Okay. So yes, it is that time, folks. It's time for Whitley to reach his final stage of evolution. Now, he's our final Pokemon to evolve, and we've had him for so long now, haven't we, actually? Actually, they, they were all the items I found down here, like I, Iron, Nugget, blah blah blah, Max Potion, there you go. I didn't find a Nether, I found a Nugget, sorry, I got that wrong. Easy mistake, but, yeah. Okay, so let's use this Leaf Stone. Now, I'm going to say a goodbye to our final Pokemon to evolve, Whitley. You've been trouble to raise, but it's time to get rid of all those problems. Make you a better Pokemon with better moves. Let's do this! Give him the Leaf Stone. What? Whitley's evolving! What's he gonna turn into? Oh my god, he's an even bigger flytrap! Congratulations, your Whitley evolved into Victory Bell! You'll remember of seeing this from when we were fighting Erika. It was one of her Pokemon. Victory Bell, it's... <laughs> like I said, the um, Bell Sprout family isn't the best grass type in the world. Definitely not. And definitely not in this generation. But it's, it's reliable. If you didn't start out with... Um, Bulbasaur, then, uh, and you were playing Leaf Green. I would recommend you get, of course, Bell Sprout, mainly to get it as a Victory Bell, of course. Don't keep it as a Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell's not brilliant, and you can see its attack and special attack have gone up, and its defense has gone up as well. And it's still got the same moves, of course. They wouldn't change, but uh, clearly, Victory Bell is a lot better. But that's all I have to say about it, really. It's it's definitely worth it if you didn't start off with. Bulbasaur and you're playing Leaf Green. It's probably the one I can recommend the most if you don't have Bulbasaur. For um, for Fire Red users, I'll have to apologise that you get Oddish because Oddish is a lot worse. But that's all that can be said. Now back to the music. Alright, okay, so, uh, you may be wondering why I'm talking again here. Well, that's because this little place is somewhere worth stopping off, and we have to go through here if we want to continue on, because there is literally nowhere else to go. We have to go through, see if I want to see the exits right there, but in order to get there, we have to go through this place. But we will be doing that in the next episode, because I am too tired to continue today and I mean literally I am I am exhausted I haven't been sleeping too well but I apologize for the shortness of this episode because I imagine it's probably very short for you but this is probably around 20 minutes long for me because I have to take all the battles and the traveling in actual real life speed so you may be this may be a shorter episode than it feels like but next time on Pokemon Leaf Green we will be going through Seafoam Island and taking on one of the three legendary birds and I think I've decided that I am going to try and catch them because we need something interesting in these episodes and that will also be rather interesting plus I am going to be making a funny moments video at the end of the series 
and uh, <laughs> I found that one of the best moments in the series has been uh, attempting to catch Snorlax, and I, what I did in the editing of that so far is sum it up in one very long short thing with uh, Lux Eterna's um, Requiem for a Dream theme song playing for it, which worked very well, and hopefully I'm going to get the same situation with the birds, so <laughs> we can have some funny moments with that. But like a favor if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to join Riot Clan today, although to be honest I probably haven't given you much reason for to do that within all the time. But you could always check out my buddy's channel, it's Luckful, his real name is Sean. Go check him out, he does loads of Halo videos, and he's a good friend of mine, he's been a great help to me in getting back on my YouTube channel, and for helping me get new channel ID and stuff. But, like I was saying, like a favor if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to join Riot Clan today, or the Crow Battalion today, as it's being called for the Pokemon Walkthroughs. I will see you all next time. Halo Riders, out.